medical update. What do you mean about oh, for, oh my shoulder? Uh, that's gonna be something we just have to deal with after uh, spring. I'm not 100% sure what, but uh, I'm not really worried about it. I know uh, this entire coaching staff, medical staff, will do the best for me. Is it gonna affect your baseball status? Let's see. I, I don't know yet. So I mean, that's just something we're just gonna have to take uh, play by ear. What did it happen? Like when did you? Push I, I couldn't tell you. I really don't know. I mean, it's just you know how football and everything goes. It's just a grind. So, so it was during football season. I, yeah. I don't know. But okay. Okay. Was it just like you woke up one day? I mean, was it sore all the time? You just got more sore. I mean, how how did you sort of notice it? I mean, it's it's you're playing football or baseball. It's just your body's gonna ache and just uh, trying to get everything worked out, uh, get everything examined, and just something popped up. So. How are you feeling right now? I feel fine. I feel great. I'm ready to uh, finish spring on a good note, get ready for A-Day. Are you able to do everything, contact, tackle, everything? Yes, sir. And how's it been with the increased role this year uh, at inside linebacker for you? Uh, I mean, I'm very uh, excited to have this opportunity here. Uh, it's been, I feel more comfortable uh, playing my role, making the calls, uh, having guys lean on me, ask, ask questions. Like, I, it's, it's kind of crazy. Like the new guys coming in asking me questions because I remember when I was doing the same thing a couple years ago when uh, I was in their role. So, but I mean, I think I'm coming up to the uh, stepping into the plate the right way for my new role, and I'm really enjoying this opportunity. How's that chemistry been with you and? That's gonna ask the same question. How's that chemistry been with you and Rashawn on the inside? Very good. I mean, we've been playing together since the Alabama Mississippi All Star game. So I mean, we're all just a big family. But that's the entire. Uh, defense. We that's how these, this Alabama defense is, always has been. It's just it's a brotherhood, and we lean on each other. We push each other like uh, you're supposed to. And I just believe me and Sean, uh, Rashawn and Sean Dion uh, coming in together and playing like that. It's going to benefit ourselves and everybody else around us. What's your expectation once Sean Dion comes back? I mean, as far as oh, he's going to be great. Yeah. I mean, I know I see him working out. Every day, uh, he's probably going to be better than all of us coming back because he's got the best uh, work ethic mm -hmm. out of everybody, and he's going to be ready to go. How about you? How about how how would that affect your role? You think? I mean, going forward, do you think it'll be similar to, you know? How, I have what, no what idea, but uh, that's the coach's mm -hmm. decision. I know whatever mm -hmm. they ask me to do, I'm going to do it to my full mm -hmm. fullest ability. How mm -hmm. tough has it been on him waiting and being on the sidelines? Have you talked with him about that? I'm, uh, me and Sean have uh, chit chatted a couple times, but. I know he's just still being the leader that we need right now off the field, uh, mainly, but he's still pushing us. He's in meetings all the time, so I know he's ready to get back out here. Though. Early this spring, Rashawn kind of talked about the second year in, in that position at middle linebacker has been a little bit easier. He's come more natural. How much did you see him progress, you know, from that position after you know a year? Oh, it's it's unbelievable. I mean, Rashawn Evans is a crazy athlete. I mean, he's. He, every day uh, he's getting better and better and you can just tell he's comfortable being out there like he said or like you stated but I mean it's just like everybody else out there every day we're getting better and better and he understands that and he he's ready to do that every every single day when he come, comes uh, to the uh, facility to get to, to work Who's gonna be my he's a very good athlete uh, he's gonna be very good uh, just just keep working hard and I know he will we're all gonna uh, push him because that's just how we are as a uh, as a family. So he's gonna be very good. Sidney said he's a little bit anxious to make those big plays. How, how do you rein yourself in uh, on defense to not want to just always make the big play? You just have to, you have to do your job. I mean, it's nothing special or anything crazy about football. You just do your job, like Coach Saban always says, and everything's gonna be fine. I mean, that that play doesn't matter. Who, who makes it? I mean, it's it's gonna happen. You're gonna have big hits. You're gonna have uh, that knockout blow or that big play, that touchdown catch. But if you just do your job, then it's gonna be you. Is that something you talk to him about? Just kind of maybe give him a pat on the back or? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, we talk about it all, not all the time, but that's just something we all understand that if you try to do too much, you're gonna get yourself in a hole. So just do your job. Hey, everything's gonna work out fine. Is that something you had to battle when you first got here a little bit? Uh, yeah, coming off from high school and going into uh, college, you're being the stud or whatever you want to call yourself, and 
high school, uh, being the guy everybody looked to to make that, that one play. Yeah, you might have to uh, reel yourself in every now and again. But once you understand your role and what you're doing and how to play here together with everybody, that you can lean on each other and trust each other, it goes a lot smoother. How long did it take you? Uh, I, I couldn't put a timetable on it. What's it like trying to defend the tight ends in this kind of new offense that you guys have uh, implemented? I mean, they're, I mean, they're great athletes <laughs> out there. Uh, it's this new offense is something different for us, but I mean, we're getting getting used to it. It's going to make us better as a uh, defense for sure. Mm -hmm. New England ran a lot of pick plays and rub routes. I mean, have you seen some of that? As uh, we worked on a couple yeah. couple stuff like that, getting ready for mm -hmm. season with the C. So, what do you see from Christian? Christian Miller. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's one of my best friends out there, and just watching him go out there and pretty much ball out every every uh, day is a great. It's great to see. I mean, he's great pass rusher, great strength. He's going to be very good for us this year. Can you talk to you about waiting his turn, and he kind of had to kind of like. We've all had. Both, uh, yeah. I mean, we were roommates, so we've all talked about that. But we understood what we signed up for, and it, just that waiting and understanding that how everything's going to work out for us. It just made us better and made us more hungry. Get it out there. Brian Robinson as a young kid at Hill Press. Oh, yeah, I did. What do you remember about him as a young guy? Young guy, he was full of energy, fun to be around, loved playing football, exactly what he's brought here. A couple more. Do you have an extra pride when there's a Tuscaloosa guy? Always, always. I mean, just being that native, I guess I can call myself, it's always, always cool having uh, guys like Lester, Bo, me, Brian, guys like that, just making plays out here and just bringing that pride back or keeping it in Tuscaloosa. What about Ben? What about, what about Ben? Ben, uh, uh, he's going to be very good. Y'all need to watch out for him in the next couple of years. He's uh, grown into his role, big kid. I mean, he knows how to play the, uh, play the game, and he's going to be very good. Thanks.